We're going to play a little game of If You Only Knew. I just fire some questions at you. Right. You can answer. You don't have to answer. It's not a My two cents. My two oh, cents. Oh, you know that? Oh, I know oh, my two know. cents. Childhood celebrity crush. Uh, maybe Sylvester Stallone, Pacino. Oh, they were babes. Absolutely. I had very limited access to VHS because we lived in Israel for two years. So mm. I was stuck there with only Scarface and Rocky and A Fish Called Wanda, so Kevin Klein also. Um, and that's where I really, it all happened. Israel's a great place, though. So. Yeah, uh, especially for VHS. Last person you kissed? I'm probably my boyfriend this morning. What's his name? Fred. Fred? Mm -hmm. Fred? No what? one's named Fred anymore. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm trying to get him to change it. What's a movie that made you want to be an actor? Uh, maybe in a way, uh, Francis. Um, you know, Jessica Lange, Francis Farmer. I just oh. remember being like so devastated by she was that fun. performance and really, that was unbelievable. I mean, the power of the idea that there was the ability to transmit that kind of a thing is huge. Moment you knew you'd made it. I got uh, free tickets once to uh, see Morrissey as a walk-in. I just, uh, I saw that he was playing on, it was on the, just on a banner I was driving by. I pulled in, I walked up to the thing, they said it was sold out, and the lady said, oh my God, let me give you some tickets. And I was like, holy <laughs> I've really done something right in this life. He's a big time winner. Who's your hero? Hmm. <sighs> I don't know, it's an interesting question. I mean, in some ways, um, it's uh, a, a Cassavetes type of a person, but uh, I'm, I'm inclined to go uh, female. You want to be you know, a guy. You know what, I mean, really, it's like if, uh, if Lou Reed and Nora Ephron had a baby, that would be my hero. You are some kind of person. Thanks. If you weren't an actor, what would you be? Uh, I think I would be a car dispatcher. Um, I think I'd be very good at that. You know, like sort of on the line, like in taxi. Go to pick up. Yeah, like, you know, we just got a, we just got in a passenger over at uh, LaGuardia. We're gonna get, send them a car. Yeah, and they're You'd going over to. Limo service. Yeah, they're going over to 23rd and Lex. I think I'd be great at that job. Characteristic you value most in others? Uh, honesty, sense of humor. Character you value most in yourself? Same. Biggest misconception about Hollywood? Uh, that it's full of phonies. I actually don't think that's not oh. been my experience at all. Me I think too. it's full of uh, some smart, major artists, real characters, a lot of outsiders, and you just gotta find the good ones, and there's a healthy number of them. Who would you trade places with for a day? Hmm. I wonder if it wouldn't be maybe like a, you know, a sports person. So I'm surprised to hear myself say that. A Rod. But maybe, no, maybe more like, you know like how Steve McQueen really used to love race cars? Yeah. I imagine that really being the best in your field, like in a race car, would feel like flying or something. And that's something Natasha, in my life I'll never do. Why aren't you a guy? I'm telling you. What's your favorite vice? Well, I mean, I just can't kick the cigarettes. What am I gonna do? You still smoke? It's a nightmare, Larry. I used to smoke, had a heart attack, and stopped cold. Really? I got a valve in there, but it hasn't stopped me. <laughs> you have a valve? I you do. Still smoke? I'm telling you, I don't know what to do. Listen, you're the one with the imaginary friend, I, I, okay? I, I, I know I, we're not talking about it on air, but we've all got problems. I had a heart attack and surgery is stopped cold after three packs a day for 30 years. Really? You can quit. Yeah, I suffered three to six months. Three Best six. piece of advice you ever got? I don't know, I'm inclined to go with a quote, but I, don't know. I, I, I guess really just, uh, you know, you're, like, you're okay, everything is always okay. I think, uh, you know, at some point along the line, somebody said that to me, and it was a real, I still use it as a kind of, it's a very, um, sort of like a depressive's mantra in a weird way, I mean. It was in the scheme of things. Yeah, but it really this idea of like, it all feels so high stakes and so broken sometimes. But in fact, it's like, I'm okay. Everything is okay. It's just not as heavy as it feels. It really helped me. Is there something you long believed to be true and realized wasn't? Uh, yeah, I would say 
um, that there is that women are competition. In fact, I think that uh, it's been my adult discovery that they're like the great allies and that we all make so many great things together. Something quickly people don't know about you. Uh, just quickly. I don't know. I'm a. I have, I'm, I'm very um, compulsive about uh, logistics. I'm a real... How you get there to there? And... Logistics and inanimate objects drive me <laughs> bananas. I'm compulsive about time. Yeah. I have to be on time. Yeah, I have to be off time. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.